passing was just setting in when we learned the death of another talented New Orleanian. Singer Marva Wright died this morning following a month-long illness from a stroke. Meg Ferris spent time with her family and friends this afternoon as they remembered the entertainer with the powerful voice. I mean, she was my best friend. My best friend. And I'm going to miss her. Dozens of family members and friends gathered at the New Orleans East family home where singer Marva Wright passed away early Tuesday morning. She was sick after having a stroke last fall. It was so sad for me after she had her stroke because I would call and she'd remember for a moment who I was. And then she would call me one of her daughter's names. After the stroke, the city was no longer able to hear that powerful voice. She was there with her on Street. You know it was her. Through all that noise in the crowd, you know it was her. Simple as that. You knew it was her. You know, and I'm a miss her a lot. I like to feel what I'm singing and enjoy. Because I feel that if I can enjoy and feel what I'm singing, the people out in front of me can enjoy it also. How should this community remember Marva? As was a, a great blues singer, and she loved she, and she loved people. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know we gonna miss her for sure. But she will also be remembered too for her big laugh and love of people. He's a guy. Uh, I always put a smile on my face. He used to work for nicest person in the world, nicest in the world. I mean, there was nobody who was. Angry at Marvin, mad at Marvin, nobody. She was a woman who worked her way up from little means. I was excited. I was going, God, Lord, I'm going to Paris. I'm going to London. I'm going to Italy. I'm going to Holland. I'm going to all these things. I used to take and spend my whole salary on, on souvenirs. And then it dawned on me, you're not going for pleasure. You're working. You need to bring some money home. <laughs> Marva's daughter said her mother said, I'm tired and going to sleep. Her daughter responded, I love you, Mom. And those were the last words from a voice that the city will never forget. Meg Ferris, Channel 4, Eyewitness News.